Procrastination. Definition, the act of delaying or putting off tasks to the last minute. Now, with a show of hands, who here has ever put an assignment or project to the last minute? Wow, so many of you. Shocker. But that's because you were procrastinating, which surely led to you worrying about whether you're going to finish on time. Your hands begin to sweat, and you start stressing about how it's going to be so humiliating when the teacher calls you out in front of the whole class that you didn't hand in your project on time. All these, emotion, all these emotions can cause headaches, elevated levels of stress, and lead to poor academic performances. While procrastinating seems to bring out the worst in people, I'm going to tell you right now that procrastination is good. This is because it boosts productivity, it's more entertaining, and procrastinators can't be perfectionists. Let's begin with the fact that procrastination boosts productivity. It's the first step for you to fully start focusing on the assignment. Let's say I have a project due Friday, a week from today. On Monday, I sit down and tell myself, OK, I'll start the project, but end up scrolling through TikTok for hours. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I have sports, and my friends want to play video games. Suddenly, I find myself stuck doing the project Thursday night, after supper. To me, this is a good thing, though, because now I know I really need to get my work done. In the end, after procrastinating all week, the project will have my full focus, and I'll be more productive, because I know it's due in less than 24 hours, and I don't want to be that one student who doesn't hand in their project, right? At the same time, procrastinating is good because it eliminates distractions. Knowing that something is about to be due tells your brain that nothing else matters in the world. Therefore, the notifications coming from your phone and the outfit you're going to wear the next day doesn't matter at that moment. Lastly, being pressured by time simulates great ideas. What I mean by this is that while you're procrastinating, your mind is still aware of the task that needs to be done, eventually. You might find yourself thinking of all the different ways to complete your task, which can bring great ideas to the table. And for those reasons, procrastination boosts productivity. Furthermore, procrastination makes everything more entertaining. Like in sports, when you score that last second goal to win. Or in video games, when you get that last second kill. Now, I'm not saying you procrastinated and waited to the end to perform that jaw-dropping moment. But if you were able to do it in the last few seconds, why not just do it earlier? Well, this is because the last second moment is just way more entertaining. Additionally, you get to enjoy other things at the same time. Uh, if procrastinating... If procrastinating means you can enjoy something today and still, get, and still complete whatever is required to be done before it is due, then why not? You still accomplished what you set out to do, plus you had fun along the way. Also, when you, procrastinate, uh, when you wait to the last minute to complete something, you get that rush of adrenaline, that feeling of, oh, am I going to finish on time? Or is this going to be good enough? And when you finally finish and feel, uh, and feel satisfied, there's no better feeling. And that is why procrastinating makes everything more entertaining. Finally, procrastinating is good because if you're a procrastinator, you can't be a perfectionist. Perfectionists like spending hours and days on stuff that can take way less time. They want everything to be perfect. But if they procrastinate, they won't get the hours and days to perfect their stuff. What they will gain, though, is free time to enjoy themselves and relax. This is because they'll work on their project for maybe a few hours, and then they'll have to hand it in. Secondly, perfectionism is the enemy of progress. And nothing breaks a good perfectionist than being pressured by time. For some reason, knowing that you won't have enough time to, f to perfect your project uh, lowers the standards, and you just get the work done. Most often, done is better than perfect. Lastly, imagine this. You wake up in the morning, and you're getting ready for your day. You have breakfast, you get changed, maybe scroll through your mom's Facebook page. And you want to do your hair, but you keep getting distracted by the comments section comes time to do your hair, and you realize time is passing by really fast, and if you don't leave now, you're going to be late. So you leave with your hair kind of the way you want it. Anyways, moral of the story is that if you procrastinate, you can't be a perfectionist. In conclusion, procrastination is beneficial in many ways. It boosts productivity, it's more entertaining, and it prevents you from being a perfectionist. If you still don't believe me that procrastinating works, you should know that I waited to the last minute and memorized my speech yesterday. <laughs>